Um, I, when I use the rainfall simulator, it's always this, I say the same thing. And this is my good friend Bud Davis that made this from Conservation Demonstrations. And, um, and uh, I always say that it's either going to be a demonstration or it's going to be an experiment. So bear with me. Um, and it's not, it's just because I don't know the soils that well and, and whatnot, so we'll see how we go. All right, so the rainfall simulator was designed to show people what runoff happens. And a lot of people think that just because we have a pasture that we have no runoff. But that's not true. If we don't graze properly, we can still have runoff. We can still see soil running off our field. And the idea is always to have everything going through. So we want infiltration, and that's what Sean was talking about how important it is to actually have all the water coming through clean, purified through the soil system so that um, we're actually getting clean water in our aquifers. Um, so what we're going to do is when we run it, we're going to actually be collecting the runoff in the front bucket and we're going to be collecting the infiltration off the back bucket. Um, you'll see that we have permanent pasture, we have a herbal lay, um, then we have a no-till soil that actually has flax in it, so it's growing something. Then we have cultivated soil with mulch, and I'm actually going to do a demonstration where I'm going to put some more mulch on there so we can see the effects of mulch actually on um, soil loss. And then the last one, we have a cultivated soil, and you can see this thing is big chunks of soil. Um, and we're going to see what happens to that when we pour some rain on here. So I'm going to let Paul or John fire it up. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Excellent. This is why you should wear sandals and, you know, but it's such a hot day and I was just in there under the lights that it's, uh, Okay, so let's look at what we've got in our cups there. All right. Okay, can we have it turned off now, please? I'm not gonna, we're not gonna have a flood. Okay, I just want it turned off for just a minute. Now, you'll see that we haven't really, some things aren't happening. Now, we don't have the soil right up against the front, so we're gonna, I'm going to show you what's happening. But look here. I just wanted to pause for a minute because look at these two. We've actually got water infiltration. The water is coming through. And it's coming through really nice and clean. But we can see the permanent pasture. We have almost all the water coming through right now. All right, so we'll turn it on again. Sorry, John. And we're just going to see how long it takes before we see some runoff here. Yeah, thanks, John. Now, you look at the herbal lay. See how dirty the water is coming through there now? And we're starting... Yeah, we're going to have a look at the top here in a minute. All right, now we'll have it turned right off. Okay, so now look, in our permanent pasture, look at all the water that's come right through there. Look at that. We've got water running into all the buckets. We see that in our no-till farming, we've still got infiltration. We are running stuff off, no, pro no problem with that. But you can see... Look at, the, look at the cleanliness of that water coming through our permanent pasture. This is what we want to see. That's clean water. Now, we're going to do a little test on it afterwards here. Um, and now we're starting to see the runoff here. Now, I will tell you that we had a bit of a... We, we didn't quite get this right, but you, the water is all pooling up here on this one. Like, it's actually pooled up. It's just so below. It's sunk so much because it's collapsed that we actually can't see... It's not running off the front. Um, this one is actually just really just hanging in there. Um, 
All right, so let's put, I'm going to take this off right now. Can I just pass you that? Thanks. All right. And I'm going to just. Yeah. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Okay, just put her down. I think you can all see that it's pooled in there. You can see big clods. See the soil like that? Now let's just do something here. The whole thing. It's mud. It's just the, this thing was actually full clods. And the clods in the middle are all dry. So it's just going to run off. Actually this, you can see the water. It's just mud at the top. And the whole thing is just, you know, this is your clay soil. Beautiful. All right, so what we have here is what we call the slaking test. So you can see this soil just completely collapsed and it turned into mud. I'm going to take this one out and I'm going to do the same thing in a minute. This is what that soil looked like that was in there. It was all in, in great big clumps like this. You can see that. Okay, so now I'm going to put that, just put it there for right now. And this, this soil, yeah, if I could, yeah, if you just add some water from the water bottle. And then this is the soil from out in the field, and you can see that it's coming to pieces already. Let me put that one in there. Okay, now we're just going to watch for a minute. And the idea is, is this is a test that you can do for yourself to just look at how well structured your soil is. If your soil is really well structured, you're going to see that it's either going to come off on water stable aggregates or it's just going to sit in there for a long time. If I move this one right now, you can see that it's starting to really cloud the water. And we're just going to let that sit there for a moment while we do this. Now the next thing, you can have these handy dandy little tests. These are salt water tests, you can buy them in any fish store. And they're just test strips and they've got the colors on the outside. And you just take some of the water. You know, take the test. Yeah, it's like pH. You can do pH in this. You can do all the other ones, and you just make it wet. And you shake off the bits at the end there. And then you can see already, if I hold up the strip, see the change in the color. So already we're leaking nutrients in this, in this water. So the test strip has changed almost totally. So then let's just look at what this means, shall we? Total hardness, nitrates. All right, bright pink, and we're looking at, ah, oh, completely saturated compared to the yellow. So we've got a lot of nitrates actually, surprisingly, coming through in this water, water quality. So these are the kinds of things you can do, and you can use, so you don't have to 
You know, everybody looks and they go, oh, I have this, this monstrous big simulator. You can do the same thing with this lovely little handheld demonstration. So you can cut the pans, run the water, put it over the top, and actually do the infiltration test yourself. And it all comes in this box. So it goes with you wherever you are. So if you're doing demonstrations, this is a really wonderful one to do. Um, and then the other thing you can do is you know, use your water quality test strips. We've changed the pH as well. We've got a little bit more basic. Um, our hardness, we've got more hardness. Um, and the rest of the indicator is not much phosphorus, but we are changing the water quality. So I like to do this test, and these test strips are really cheap. I mean, there's no reason why we can't be using these test strips. So test your water quality. Now let's go back to our little demonstration here. Look how much we've lost. Oh, well, we've just lost the whole thing. That, that was that. It's still there. Our aggregate is still there. So we've got water stable aggregates. We still got reasonably good water quality. We're just slaking a little bit of soil. This is something else you can do. You can do this at home. And you can actually look at your soils that way. Now I'm going to get John to help me again. I'm totally destroying the demonstration here. Um, we're going to take this one off here too. And I want you to also look here at how fast this is drying out and just turning into a great big clay pot. Um, that's another thing. We have no water holding capacity. So even though it pooled up in there, it's not holding anything. It's just going to just completely disintegrate and turn into a total mud ball. This is our no-till soil. We didn't even get to the bottom with all that water. So how much water do we put in there? Looks like we put in half an inch of water and we didn't even get to the bottom. That's why it didn't in, wasn't infiltrating. It wasn't running off either. Water holding capacity. We're just starting to get to the water holding capacity. So I want you to just this, the idea here is to just show you that when it's raining, you start to see the ponds. That's an indicator that you have an issue with, with, rain, with whole water holding and infiltration. You can use infiltration rings to do this. There are lots of methods where you can just measure the infiltration, but that's a really good way to test for your soil health. A really good way is looking at your infiltration. Um, and I hope... We'll keep looking at this guy here. Still going. This one here is actually from the wheat and the, and the fava beans that you can actually walk by out there on your way to seeing the grazing demonstration. But look at that. We're still holding on. And that guy is... Yeah, but... There's, I'm going to show you, this one is solid, and you can see that it's just like, it's like I might as well be milking a stone. Um, and look at the water. I'll take this out. You can see that there's a lot more sedimentation in here. And that's what it looks like at the bottom. It's just completely muddy. This one still has structure. This one is from the no-till field. So you can see the difference. 
and we can still see that we still just got small aggregates. This is a really, this is, this is how you're building your soil. This is, you're starting to have water holding capacity. You're starting to have stable soil. So, and once again, you can also see the differences in the color. This one, you can see the organic matter. It's a lot darker. This one is just mud. And it's just turned to mud. Now look, there's no structure, none whatsoever. This is why we do no-till. This is why we do cover crops. And this is why we do permanent lays, because you can see the, very, the difference. So now if we look, maybe we're not going to see it. Here's our, now we'll do the pasture. This is what ran off. This is our, our, you know, our lay. We've got a little tiny bit that ran off the permanent. Clear water. Here, I'll hold them up. So this is your lay. This is your permanent pasture. There is a difference. There's a little bit more soil in this one. This one's much cleaner, I think. And all the water on the permanent pasture, on the on the permanent pasture, went right through. We didn't. We had almost nothing on the front. And the other thing you can do, if you're curious, is actually just take one of these cups. <clears throat> Uh, we took off a mil one, 1 1.5 millimeters came off of our permanent pasture. Mm -hmm. We got four millimeters off our lay pasture, and you can see it's quite a bit dirtier. So you can see that just gives you an idea of the fact that how important it is your management practices are to holding your soil and how important holding your soil is to water quality. We can do so much with plants to improve water quality and, and to rid ourselves of the nitrates in our groundwater that are causing us all issues. Um, and not just nitrates, but there are a lot of other things that run flow in the water too that we can actually get rid of by just allowing the plants to take them up create better soil structure, have better water infiltration. Well, thank you very much, everyone. <laughs>